Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. We've made it to into the track the towards the into final the space boss. level out for launch. Huh. Which is uh, a nice little send back, throwback to Crash Bandicoot 2, where the final zone of the game was also space themed, starting with level 21, Piston It Away. Yeah. I actually like Piston It Away, honestly. It, it's, a, it's a really good intro uh, into, uh, uh, into the space levels. The so major difference so far between Pissing It Away and Out for Launch Crash Bandicoot 4 is Pissing It Away was largely 2B, 2D based. There were almost no 3D sec, 3D true moments during that level. Yeah, I think like the gem path uh, was uh, was 3D, but that was that was that was it. You may be you, I, you're thinking of Spaced Out. No, Spaced, Spaced Out has, has uh, Spaced Out has got the. Uh, has got the uh, gem, uh, the uh, five color gem path in it. I'm referring to the uh, uh, the special gem for pissing it away. There is no special gem in pissing it away. You're thinking about the death platform. Oh, which is which should have been yeah. The special gem was the death platform. Which sucked about pissing it away is that you had to get the death platform in order to get the box gem. Also, uh, I don't remember. I did not remember that. I'm. Unless I'm, unless I'm remembering it wrong. I mean, we know that there is at least one level in Crash Bandicoot 2 where you have to go into the death platform in order to get boxes. I thought it was Cold Hard Crash that did that, but no. Cold Hard Crash just has an extremely difficult... Uh, There's the hidden gem! Damn it! A, where, where, where? This is a very well-hidden gem indeed. <laughs> Neither clouds past nor present were able to see it. Because if both were present in the same room, they said they would have said, "Huh." Mm. Yeah, Cold Heart Crash doesn't actually um, it doesn't actually throw the uh, uh, any boxes in its death path. It's just a notoriously difficult one because it's it's a ice, it's a speed ice section. Right. I can't stand it when they put boxes on those little wall walking segments. Well, after you spin, don't can't you just remagnetize to the wall? Yeah, but it just it feels weird, man. It, I admit it definitely does feel weird, but it's uh, but it's not, you know. Uh, yes, yes, slide, slide again. Yeah, you can, because you can slide while crouching past cloud. Yes, I'm I'm glad that they didn't reverse the the left right directions when you're on the ceiling. Le well, right is still oh, right, and left record, is still I'm left. Sure that the only game that I've seen that actually do that is Sonic. Right, with the with the intention of trying... Like in, like in Death Egg Zone, you mean? Sonic the I Hedgehog? I don't remember if it was Death Sonic Egg Zone or Knuckles. not. I do recall it's one of the space levels, and I want to say it's Sonic 2, so it probably would have been a Death Egg Zone. Uh, you were a little late on changing to Ika Ika. See, the now, what is the are getting more for the, for the flip in midair? It's there. Is, there is a brief. There is a brief moment where you are not able to change direction, but it's very brief. And god damn it, is this game keen on teaching you exactly what is the timing for that? Well, you need to know what it is for the final level. You need to know what it is for the final level. You need to know what it is for. Oh right, the flash. You don't use the quantum master in the flashback tape. Sorry. Um, de definitely the final level, and my god, can that final gauntlet eat, like, a whole pile of graham crackers. So, there's gonna be a Cortex timeline stage here where he activates the tractor beam in order for us to, you know, get closer to, uh, Oxide's ship. You know, I got, I got it for the sake of make it, making it, you know, funny that, oh, haha, we're making the thing happen that Crash yeah, or Coco oh. saw, but... See, the thing is, is that things are happening in the environment, too, regardless of whether or not there is another actor involved. So why is it that sometimes there's definitely an actor involved, as indicated by the question mark exclamation point, and other times it's just a thing that happens and you just roll with it? Mm. Mm, spin, and there we go. You see, you're getting yeah, the hang of it. So you are supposed to jump in order to stay on the wall. Yeah. Spin jump, then jump back, then jump back. Which honestly is a little easier when you have to switch walls that you're on, in my opinion. Or at least from what I'm observing. Over. Double jump and spin. 
Yeah, don't jump too high because that oxide clone is. Oh, I freaking hate this wall riding segment. Yeah, this. You have to spin, jump back on, then spin again and jump back on just to jump off. Right. Lots of jumping. Okay, well, that time, the only thing stopping you from jumping too high is that you might hit the pipes down below. Right. The okay. really hot pipes. I will admit that, that combining Ika Ika with these wall running segments, this is too goddamn much. Oh, you think you think this is too much? Wait till we get to food run. Ah, uh, yeah, food run. Ugh. A level that's supposed to be fun, which, ironically, is not really that fun oh. of a level. <laughs> down... I give. <laughs> mm. Try it again. All right. You can do this. Neutral. You can down. You can. You can only left. succeed if right. you try again. Left. Up. Left. There. Switch. We got them. Got it. God damn you, flashback tape. Really? You want me to do that many wall runs before getting a flashback tape? Mm. All right. Another checkpoint box. See, I almost walked past that one. Oh, I didn't. I did not see that. See, Gerda, uh, Gerda is not uh, is not impervious to being in, uh, inaccurate. Attention, my friends. It is, it is crucial. Yes, it is crucial, essential even, to getting it right. Oh my! Very science. nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> I just want up to be up and down to be down again. <laughs> Please. No, you will deal with our inverted gravity gimmick that we stole from, Son uh, from Sonic Adventure 2, and you will complain about it regardless. Why is that TNT box upside down, but the nitro box is the right side up? <laughs> uh, well, as long as, uh, as long as they're, you know, functioning the correct orientation, that's all that they need. Okay, now go back the way you came, doing the same fucking gauntlet of obstacles you just went past. Wait for it. Uh, no, you're just supposed to crouch jump up there, and then cr and then crouch jump up top again. Pretty sure you need Ika Ika in order to make that jump distance. Uh. All right, we'll take care of these first. You can do that. One, two, three, four, five, one. Three, four, five. So we're just going. Okay. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. We're not, we're not out here just yet. Now go because we just got rid of all the nitro crates that but were creating obstacles. But there's only these two boxes left. Oh, there's. Oh my God. Practically almost out of bounds by a toe. All right, second Wumpa Gem. And we're only nice. missing 50 boxes. We're still missing 50 boxes, and this is what, checkpoint number four? We're, we're not going to get the box gem during this part. Unfortunately. We came close. But, uh... You know, I, I, I tell you, my box gem consistency really starts to dimmer when I start racking up the deaths during these parts. Yeah. For, for example, on my 20th attempt at this level... Okay, so you can just normal jump on them, which is kind of odd, but, you know. I do believe that you had the ability to normal jump on the other saucers uh, back in Crash 3, so... Or Crash <laughs> 2. Yeah, no, Crash 3 doesn't have space levels, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't. You're right. Because travel, we find that in, tri in time travel, in, in time travel stories, that it's usually more fun to go back in time than to go forward in time. Yeah. Especially because when you go forward in time, now you have to play guessing games with, well, what is the future going to look like? The past is much more well defined. And mostly because it's already happened. Because it already happened. <laughs> There we go, and... Duck-faced bastards. Yeah, they are assistants. That is what they is. No, those are, those are oxide clones. You, you, could, you could tell because they got the, that weird mouth snout going on. That's not really their nose. It's just their mouth protruding from their face. 
All right, up and then left. Left. Uh, up and then down. Uh, oh, I do get the box. You do get gem. the box, Jim. Good job, Mr. Cloud. Man, I ain't got no crystal ball. But you, well, you actually part, do have a crystal ball. It's just that you don't actually use it as nice, not as nicely as you're supposed to. In the next episode, we'll continue on with the oxide space levels. Be safe, everybody.